What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Nose215, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Killer Kicks. And today I am going to do a comparison and a latest pickup. So I'm going to start with the latest um, shoe that just dropped. We all know uh, Saturday uh, was the re retroing of the Air Max Atmos. <laughs> Uh, Air Max ones and um, I'm just going to do a comparison. Everybody already knows what the shoe looks like um, But there's a lot of in my opinion. There's a lot of um, Information that's being said out there that in my opinion is not really true. So uh, I just want to show y'all what I think about the shoe and uh, You know the true comparison. All right, so size 9 uh, box price was 150 Just out the box. All right, so I'm gonna start off with saying that there's nothing different about the shoe. Th there's a lot of people that saying, "Oh, well, you know, the OGs are better. The leather is better." Uh, this is what the elephant print like everybody's just saying like a whole bunch of wacky shit like there's no different between Neither of the shoe. This is the first time that Nike has retro a shoe that people have wanted For a very long time that they didn't fuck up Like they didn't mess up on the shoe at all um The coloring on the tongue as you can see are exactly the same uh, the suede material on this compared to this is exactly the same. You know, one, one thing that people do is they want to make a comparison to a, a used shoe to a brand new shoe. And you can't compare a shoe like that. Like this shoe is used. So obviously the leather is a little bit softer because it's broken in. When the shoe was brand new, it was just like this, you know, and this is not very, this is not a stiff leather or anything like that. It's, you know, very soft, just like this one, you know, this is just broken in. This is a used shoe, um, you know, let's analyze the size of the shoe. Yeah, you know, on the, on the swoosh, you have a little bit of the glittery, as you can see right there. You see like some glitter spots, but... Besides that, the shape looks nice. Uh, the elephant print on point. Um, even if you want to compare to the back, in my opinion, I think that the new one is better because you see some of that widow peak right here. So, you know, the back of the new one is better. Um, and the same for the inner. You know, I mean, there's nothing... you. You know, again, you can't compare something that came out in 2006 to something that came out in 2017. There's no comparison. This is a used shoe. This is a brand new shoe. So, my, you know, my reason behind doing this is don't listen to too many of the people. Oh, you know, like I saw one guy that was, he, he, he literally wanted to compare uh, like the elephant print of an 06 to like the new elephant print. And he's like, yeah, this is the way the elephant print is supposed to look. And I'm like, homie, like, you know, that stuff wears off. As you can see right here, the black is wearing off. So it's going to look different. Like, look how much, you know, is wearing off. But there's nothing different. This is a used shoe. This is a new one. Even, I mean, if you want to look at the inside, you know, they kept it the same. Now, the shoe that came out last year, that was retro last year, was these, the Safaris. And obviously, this is the better shoe. And I understood where everybody was coming from. 
this is the better shoe. Nike really took an L with, you know, butchering the retro. Like, they, you know, they put all the fuzzy stuff. They made it a, you know, a glow in the dark. So, yeah, people liked it. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad shoe, but it's not this. When you want a retro, you want the same exact thing. So I look at these two shoes and I said, you know, they got it right, man. They got it right. Like, I can't complain uh, not one bit. There's no different. You know, people want to tell you that this is softer and that, you know, this is, you know, the OGs is better. Come on, man. This is a new shoe. This is a brand new shoe. Once this breaks in and the leather starts getting softer and softer, it's going to be identical. It's going to be the same exact shoe. Um... You know, so here you go. 2006, 2017. I mean, same. If I was to do like this, it's like literally like, <laughs> like I'm touching the same exact shoe. So um, for all these YouTube channels that's lying to y'all and saying that, you know, the OG is better. Do yourself a favor. Don't listen to them. If this is a shoe that you've been wanting, buy it. I remember once upon a time where I I, I think that the resale on these um are like at 460. I remember once upon a time when you would get a real dogged up pair for 460. So, you know, now that Nike released this shoe. Um, I suggest that you go ahead and get it, but there's nothing, I mean, they're both the same shoe. They're both the same. Identical. Just the old. This is the new. I mean, the suede even looks. <laughs> the suede. Even looks the same. So, I mean, come on, man. So, I just wanted to show y'all that this is the same exact shoe. OG, 2017. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all guys think about this. And uh, let me know if y'all guys agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then that's fine. You know, I don't have a problem with it. But the reality is that, I mean, they're both the same. It's the same shoe. It's the same material. It's the same, like, everything. They did this right. And this is exactly what always happens. Nike finally does something right, and people somehow still try to uh, say that Nike did something wrong. But that's not the truth. So, uh, yeah, so, like I said, 06, 2017, enough said about these shoes. Now let's go to my recent pickups. All right, so let's go to the following shoe that I'm going to be reviewing. These were actually a gift. Big shout out to Sneaker Freaker for these. Uh, these are the Nike SB Dunks Tweed uh, Highs. Uh, I love these shoes. Um, I love everything about it, to be honest. So uh, as you can see, on the upper, you have that Nike SB tag with that nice swoosh brown tongue uh these do come with two laces if i believe i think originally they come like with beige laces but i have the white laces i actually like how the white laces look then on the toe box you have this nice wool uh plaid material which is very nice kind of gives it like that old school like that burberry type of look um you have this brown suede that goes all the way across the shoe you have your nike swoosh in brown and then you have more of that uh a plaid material uh or that plaid image if you would say um the upper you can see is brown you know nothing but uh special about the back same for the inner and then your bottom is in that beige colors one of the SBs that I like a lot and like I said you don't see them you don't see them on feet too often so uh yeah you know like I said big shout out to sneaker fricker on these and let's go on to my last pair
All right, so let's go into the last review. Um, this shoe was a very much needed shoe in my collection. Um, if you already see these two shoes, then you already know what it is that I'm about to present. But uh, I needed these shoes to just complete the whole footwear collection um, of everything that he's done. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm the biggest fan because I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I do have, uh, you know, a couple of his vinyls. I do listen to his music. Uh, I'm not a diehard fan, but I respect, um, everything that he's done so far, especially with the footwear. So, um, you know, MF Doom, uh, in case if you only see these, these were the last two things that he did, uh, Wallabies, um, you know, these are everything. I've worn these, as you could tell, <laughs> many times. Um, but this shoe, but this review is not about the shoe. Uh, this review is about these right here. Uh, Nike SB Dunks, MF Doom, uh, black and purple box era. And uh, I was so stoked to pick these up. Uh, I paid 220 on eBay. No OG box. A little bit of soul separation. You know, I, I I think that the person could have been a little bit more lenient um, in terms of the price. But you know what? Uh, the cleanness of the shoe. I said, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Why not get the shoe? So uh, without further ado, let's get into some of the details of this shoe. So, <clears throat> on the tongue, you have the MF Doom mask, as you see in the Wallaby. Um, you have that silver tongue. I switched the laces, so these actually come with red flat laces, but I chose uh, the fatter laces because I just like how they look. Um, you have the super villain lace locks. You have a very nice, soft, black suede on the toe box you have this 3m uh piping that goes i mean this this 3m lining that goes all the way down the piping you can see a little bit it pop a little bit um the toe box as you can see this is the toe the the sole separation that i was talking about um but like i said it's not it's not really too bad for me to really complain about uh the shoe is still wearable i've i've worn the shoe already a couple times and unfortunately with this type of like material is gonna bound to happen you know so um the side of the shoe Let's see this focus uh the side of the shoe obviously you have mf doom stitching you have more of that nice soft suede in black with the inner. You have this like ostrich type of uh, material. On the side, you have that nice gray leather with more of that real good suede that they don't do these days anymore. And the same for the inner. Bottom of your sole, you have that translucent sole with the MF Doom facing underneath it. Um, yeah, so this is my latest pickups. Um, let me put everything together. Shaboing, 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 shaboing. All right, yep. Yeah, so I'm going to just hold this like this. But these are my latest pickups. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this review thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't uh feel free to download my free app killer kicks and uh yeah this was fun i haven't done a review in a while so this was actually a fun one um i hope that you enjoy this till next time everybody peace out time.